What's going on everybody and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing my very first speed build on the channel and I am super excited because I've been trying to figure this out for so long and I finally found a editing, I guess, just an editing thing that I can use to actually do the speed build. So super excited and I can finally edit videos because before Literally all I could do was trim it because I couldn't find something that would actually work for what I was trying to accomplish and I looked, I tried looking it up so many different ways how I could, the best, I guess, video editor to go with the OBS studios that I used to record and I couldn't find anything for like weeks and then I finally came across a video because I really wanted to do speed build, I recorded it thinking, oh, maybe I could do this. So I ended up looking it up and finding a video editor that I was going to use and come to find out I couldn't use it because I couldn't, I couldn't speed up the video as fast as I needed it to be, so it just wasn't working out. So I finally fixed that and I finally found something I can use and i figured out how to work it and i've been trying this is honestly i'm not even gonna lie this is my third attempt at trying to do the voiceover for this because the first time um my intro didn't work the second time um i did the outro too late and i couldn't fix it and it was just honestly it's been super stressful so um i don't know how you guys like to build your houses but um i like to go for floor plans because i like like real looking houses so I make the rooms first and I make sure everything's proportioned right and make sure things aren't too big or too small and then I go in and tear down the walls that I don't need so for example if like the living room I will tear down the walls for the living room because you don't need to close it off at least not in the floor plan that I used. Um, and then I go from there. And when I build houses, I like to build the rooms. I like to do the roofs first and then get the stairs done, make sure I don't have any fences if I don't need them. And then I put an exterior like paint on it, like whether it's siding or whatever I'm gonna do. And then I put the windows on, making sure that I know that it looks right. After I've done the roof, change the way the roof's supposed to look like the colors I need the roof to be. And then put the windows on. So, yeah. And then, basically when I go inside, I just use the, like, subtle lights. And then I change them as I see fit. Sometimes I don't change them. Sometimes I just leave that up to you guys. Because, like I said, this build honestly took me, like, four and a half hours. So sometimes I'm just like, okay, I want to get this done. But when I'm, like, honestly, it depends. Like, if I want something for four hours, I'm not going to change the lights. I'll just change them in, like, the dining room and the kitchen. But other times, if I have, like, if I've only been working on it for, like, an hour, I'll change the lights and make it look all fancy. So, yeah. I'm just super excited to be able to bring you guys some speed builds. And this roof was making me so mad over here because it kept clipping. And I just didn't want to spend hours trying to figure out how to fix it but it's whatever it ended up clipping through anyways so as long as you guys just use it with the wall that walls all the walls down it's fine you won't see that it's clipping but regardless um the rest of the house worked out pretty well so anyways so i like to kind of like put the garages on um i know some people don't they just put like a door into there but i don't i don't, I don't think that looks too good so i just use like the fake garage door stuff you can paint so I just do those. And, um, this little area right here was driving me nuts. I was like, how am I going to roof this? And then I ended up being able to take it off, like, literally just like that. But I didn't want to take it off before I put the stairs in, so I just left it. And I was like, oh, if I'm going to change it, I'll change it after. So, I was able to do that. And, um, this, I get a lot of my, um, you guys ever like want to build something but you guys can't figure out something to build like you look up everything and you just can't find anything well i've been in that boat so 
I ended up liking a page on Facebook that gives you like build inspiration. So it's like other people like, oh, this is really pretty. If somebody wants to build this, I'd love to download it from the gallery. So stuff like that. So I found like a couple like like a couple houses that I wanted to do. Liked the post, did them, um, and then I found some of my own. And I ended up finding a link to like a kind of like a house realtor page. And I found this house and another house, which is kind of similar to this, but it's slightly different. So I'm also going to do that. Um, I don't know how often I'm going to do speed builds because if there are houses like this, they'll take me like four hours and it's kind of like a long process. Um, but I don't know, I might... I just want to really like be in the building mood to want to like sit down and spend the time to proportionalize everything, but you know it is what it is. Um, so my like, I guess my favorite things to build are houses. Like I'm not really good at doing like bakeries and stuff, so I kind of like save that for like the gallery, and I hope that one day I'll be able to find. Like maybe like a floor plan for a bakery so that I can get some practice in because I want to be able to do like oh let me just explain this so I did stop for a second like clearly more than five minutes but it was only supposed to be a five minute break but I had to help my fiance do something and I ended up having to take a break and I didn't want to stop the recording because that would just mess me up so yeah um but anyways um I besides building um my creative sim people I kind of do like a lot of like my favorite movies and stuff um but there's sometimes where i just make people like i'll make females and i made like eight male sims for my 100 baby challenge so they're on the gallery if you guys are doing the 100 baby challenge and you need more sims i made some and i will make some more but i don't actually need them right now um it's actually been a while since i recorded the 100 baby because i would uh I record like three videos at a time so it's like I have like three weeks of content for that and then I have like other content where I did like cash challenges and I've done some build challenges and yeah just stuff like that some like fun and I've done some renovations so I do a lot of renovations for the EA builds and stuff so yeah um but anyways I'm gonna just like maybe tell you guys a little bit of myself um so I'm actually from Florida and I am 21 years old and I am happily engaged. I've been for three years and I have a two year old son who is honestly my whole world. I love him. And yeah, um, uh, my birthday was just honestly after you see this is probably like two three weeks ago but i did post a video on my birthday so i said it was my birthday i was like oh it's my birthday i posted roller coaster roller coaster tycoon um because i grew up playing that game so i was like oh let me play my favorite childhood game like one of my favorite childhood games um and i'm pretty sure i've rec said this in a video before but i don't know i can't remember um i've been playing sims since I was like six years old. Um, I was watching my mom play it and I was like, wow, that looks really fun, I wanna play it. So I played way back when I was playing Sims 1 and Sims, it was um, Sims and then it was, I was playing Sims Bustin' Out and then I was playing Sims Herbs and I was playing Sims 2 on the PlayStation. So that's where I kind of got my love for the Sims. Um, my mom, I guess she was just playing it and so I ended up getting a um I'm pretty sure I ended up getting on um, my mom and dad's playstation too because he ended up getting an xbox 360 so I ended up getting that so I got the chance to actually play it in my own room but before that I was playing it in my parents room when I was able to um so I played that for a long time on um, the sims I was always so bad at it I could never like get onto the next house yeah but I ended up, like, as I grew up, I was like, oh, wow, I can do this. <laughs> and I played. Um, and then I played The Sims 3 on the computer. 
and I also played it on the Wii because I like I like to be able to control my Sims. So The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 were like my like all time favorite because I was actually like I was actually the character that I was playing. So I was actually like moving them, running, you know, and um, so I did that, and I'm. I, on the Sims 3, I only got, like, one expansion pack because back then I didn't have a job. I had my own mini, and I didn't know that there was a bunch of ones. And I ended up getting the Supernatural pack, which was, like, my all-time favorite pack. And I played that, like, hours and hours and hours on end. Um, for a while, I was just playing the regular, like, Sims without the pack because it was, like, two different discs back then. So... I was just playing it, and then I was like, wait, I'm pretty sure I have the werewolves and stuff, so I ended up playing it, like, because I was young when I got it, I was like, I don't know if I should really play this, I probably like, get scared, but honestly, it was, like, so fun, but I didn't end up taking it with me, because I ended up moving about, um, it's almost been, it'll be, like, a year in November, we, me and my fiance and my, and our son moved to a different state, like, super far away, um, and I ended up bringing the, it's, like, I got, a while ago, I got cats and dogs, I got get together, and I got another pack, but I got, like, the actual, like, um, case for it to get the, um, the code for it because I thought it was gonna be like a disc because that's how get to work was you would have a disc so I was like okay well might as well have that just to have it so I ended up doing that and I got them and I ended up bringing those but I didn't bring the actual Sims 4 game with me I was like geez um any other time I played it I've had to put the disc in well I was wrong so I ended up getting a computer after us being here um, I don't know, we were here for a few, four or five months, four, four, three, four, three, three or four months, I think, and we ended up getting some money to be able to be like, okay, and I told him, I was like, I really want to be a YouTuber, like, that's my dream, and I was so scared that I wasn't going to be able to make it work, I was like, but we ended up finding a way, and my family's super supportive about it, and he was like, okay, well, this is what you want to get go ahead and get your computer, and I got it, I downloaded Origin, when we finally got internet, I was super excited, I was like, I cannot wait to get internet, I can't wait to be able to start playing, because I missed playing The Sims, because I was watching Little Simsy play it, and I had, like, binge-watched her 100 Baby Challenge, and I was like, dude, I really want to play, I miss it, and we had a PlayStation 4, and I had The Sims 4 for that, and we ended up getting a TV first, so I ended up playing it on there, and just kind of like building and just messing around, practicing my 100 baby challenge with my own sim, like making me, and my fiance, and our son, and I was like, okay, let's try to do this 100 baby challenge, so I did, and I had a lot of kids, so it was crazy, um, and when I found out computer, I was like, okay, so the first thing I did, I was kind of like just doing shell challenges and just kind of getting some houses up in the gallery so that I had something to start off with when I started YouTube so I was like okay well I have all this stuff in the gallery if you want to check me out and now I like there's like sometimes I just do houses just on my own time and I upload them and because I wasn't gonna post any like builds or stuff because I could not figure out how to do a speed build like I said couldn't figure it out so I was just doing like 20 minute builds and so on so, now that I can do speed builds, I'm going to get a lot more of those. So, I don't know if I'm going to do it every, every week, because I do have some other games that I have played. And I have some more content from those, because I've been playing Five Nights at Freddy's, because I've been dying to play that for myself. And... Five Nights Fridays, I've been playing some Roller Coaster Tycoon I have, but I already posted, like, uploaded all those videos I have, but I would like to record more. 
as but I'm trying to get like ideas and inspirations to kind of kind of get like video ideas for that because I don't want to just do like kind of like amusement parks and it'd be the same videos over and over again I kind of want to like like oh kill how many sim like how many how, how many park I guess I guess you could say customers guests I'll go with guests how many park guests can I kill but I've never really gotten into that because I've just been kind of trying to open up more worlds because the roller coaster tycoon I played I only ever had the three worlds I never knew that you could get more because I only had the first one and now this one that I got ended up coming with I think one two and three oh no just one and two I got it came with one and two and I ended up like getting more worlds so I've been playing that but I haven't played in a while because I've been playing a bunch of sims because I've been just like in the mood to build I'm like I want to build I want to create stuff so yeah um life is strange so I recorded some of that and the game is not working as smoothly as it has for the rest of the people I watched play but it's not picky I'm still gonna like try to play it um so I have like two videos of those for you guys but I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be seeing this first or Life is Strange first. My first episode. Um, it's kind of like... I kind of like to pre-record ahead of time. Because I I do work in a, like a, a daytime job. So it's kind of like hard if I don't. And I want to make sure that I keep my channel consistent. And I'm not posting videos every single day. And making sure I have content. Um... I like to just, on my days off, I get like three days off, I try to make sure I have videos recorded, and then some days I just, I'll like, record, I'll like bust out like a bunch of videos, like I'll do like, I do three videos at a time, even though I'll, I now only post one video a day, um, I'll do like, I have like what, how many challenges I have, the whole 100 baby challenge, I have the Black Widow challenge, I have the Disney Princess challenge, I have my... With Magic Let's Play, I have my Emily's collections, and I have, don't I have another one? Oh, I finished the Crazy Cat and the Big Brother Jones. So, well, the five that I have, I try to record three videos each, so. So, 15, I'll have like 15 videos at a time, and I'll just record 15 videos, and then the next day I'll like, Back then, I would just trim up the beginning and the end, and have the whole inside, like the whole, whole video for you, and that'd be it. Now it's gonna be. I feel like now I'm gonna try to edit videos more, but again, I don't know because I don't know exactly how that's gonna go yet. So yeah. So now I'm just. I don't know. I might just use this. Uh, video editor for just speed builds right now until I get more comfortable editing my videos and but not because I've only been doing YouTube for like a month so yeah just trying to get and I was like super shy at first I was like super nervous because I'm not I'm like a really shy person and I'm not like one to like talk for like a long period of time so it would be like having a little talk and I like stop talking for a while and then I'll like say something and back then I was like oh I'm gonna do this and do this and then I was like reading on everything I was doing and now I've learned to like okay well maybe I shouldn't do that and I'm like slowly getting more comfortable and breaking out of my comfort zone and I think it's made things a lot better for me and it's kind of just it's just great because the Sims was kind of like my go-to game for like the longest time um and to be able to create videos for you and to show you guys like hey this is what i do this is what i've grown up doing and it makes me happy like it's just it feels good it feels good to be able to do this and um no i'm just super happy 
I'm just super happy that I finally get a chance to do this and I have my own computer. I haven't had my own computer, like, ever. Like, I would usually get, like, like hand-me-downs. Like, oh, well, you know, this was my old computer, but I got a new one, a better one, so you can have this one. So, I finally got, like, my very own brand new computer. And it just, I felt, I, like, I felt accomplished for once. I was like, I did it. I got my computer. And now I can do what I want to do. What makes me happy. Like, because... Growing up, I really wanted to be a NICU nurse, but um, I'm super scared to go back to school because I, I'm not too big a fan of school, and I was just like super nervous. I was like, "Can I do this? Can I go back to school and be a NICU nurse?" And that's what I had my like heart set on. And then I watched Grey's Anatomy, and I was like, "Well, I know Grey's Anatomy isn't like real, and it's not like, but it kind of like scared me away from that path." So I was like, I don't know if I could do it. Um, it's just, I was like, I don't know. I don't know if I could sit there and do it. And if somebody child dies and I got really attached, like I couldn't do it. Like, I just, I was like, I was like, I'm not prepared for that. I'm not emotionally prepared for that. Maybe one day in the future, but I would like to go to school. But as of right now, I don't know what I would do yet. So I'm just going to like, do what actually makes me happy like I love to play video games and to be able to like create content and to hopefully make other people happy like makes me happy because um YouTube was kind of like my go-to thing and I was like really shy and I you know and just not talking to anybody like you never really had like I never really got that chance to like laugh at stuff you know but I found like a few like YouTubers that actually like got me to laugh and smile and like genuinely enjoy their content so I watched them and then you know things changed over the years and um I still I mean I still watch a little sim season called Bella and I now uh I watch a lot of I has Cupquake I never knew she existed I never knew um because I never really watched a bunch of female youtubers i only watched i watched coffee back when she was copper fox games because i loved watching her play sims and it just made me so genuinely happy and then i found little simsy and yeah and i finally like pumbella like i heard her voice and she was british and i was like oh man this is gonna be good and she like on honestly like the first video i made of her like made me like laugh so hard i was like yo she's amazing like genuinely amazing and like genuinely made me happy so I was like okay I'll watch them and then now that I watch Ice Cupquake I watch a bunch of her Animal Crossing videos so she made me like fall in love with that game and I really really want it so bad but one step at a time um hopefully someday in the future I'll be able to do that but um I do on the PS4 like I've posted a bunch of Injustice and Call of Duty games like well games but like gameplay for you guys so I hope you guys are enjoying that also because I'm not just like I'm mainly The Sims, but, um, those are, just, like, the like, Call of Duty was, like, my main other game. Like, I was playing Call of Duty back when it was, like, Call of Duty Ghost, because before I never really had a PlayStation, but when I finally got, like, PlayStation 3, I could get, like, my own game, and, um, my boyfriend at the time played Ghost, and he was like, yo, this is a really good game, you should get it. So I got it to play with him, and I ended up really liking it, and I ended up getting, like, this really cool gun, and I was like, yo, I love this game, and I met, like, like a lot of other people and then I got a new PlayStation and we got me and my family got Black Ops 4 we got uh Infinite Warfare back then I had Advance and I never really played it I maybe picked it up once and I didn't play it and I ended up I think I got rid of it as long as with my PlayStation 3 which I should have kept because I had so many games for that um like honestly like I had The Last of Us I had The Evil Within I had um, Skyrim, I had a bunch, I had, like, two Call of Duty, uh, two, three Call of Duty games, because I couldn't return one. Oh, uh, I might have given that to my brother. I don't know. Um, but I had Call of Duty games, I had, I think I had, I didn't have any Sims, no, I didn't have the Sims for the PlayStation 3. I had a lot. I don't even know, but now it's, like, now I have, like, Spyro and Crash, so not super excited to be able to play those games again but anyways um where was I? um yeah i'm surprised i actually like 
like in the other two takes I like talked about two totally different things and those will just be for like other speed builds because for now I'm just gonna talk about this um and I don't know if any of you guys like watch my League of Angels gameplay that I've posted but I have posted like some things I've talked about like what I like to do and all that but if you haven't watched it you should go and check those out because I do talk more about myself in those and now I have like speed builds to do that so if you guys want to see more League of Angels let me know like definitely comment on my League of Angels gameplay or comment on this and let me know but regardless you can just let me know um I know sometimes I like I can oh and I've I've been watching like I finally uh got the chance to watch The Sims Sparked Oh my gosh, uh, it's great. It is great. Um, oh, what was I? Who was I watching? I think I was watching. Oh, I was watching. I has Cupcake on her Twitch. I was watching her stream, and um, she ended up like raiding another Sims YouTuber, but I never watched it. Before. Like Sims streamer, but I never watched her before. Uh, Mira. Yeah. Um, so. I watched her and like she didn't have too many people like watching her so she like it was very responsive to the comments because there wasn't like a whole bunch and she was able to like like respond to a lot of people and she responded to me and she actually saw like two of my comments and I like got super excited I was like wow and um she ended up being on the Sims Sparked and I was like oh my gosh that is amazing and I don't know if you guys have watched it but if you haven't, I'm not going to do any spoilers, but I saw who wins and I couldn't be, I couldn't be happier for them. Um, just to see Plumbella and Mira, and I watched a bit of Sappho Sims and she made me laugh, but she hasn't really posted a, any videos and I watched a lot of hers already, so that was not really much more for me to watch. Um, but yeah, anyways, um... Anyways, so yeah, I hope you guys um, are as excited to see some speed pulls as I am because it just it feels good to be able to be able to do this, and I hope you guys like them. So hopefully, more down like the line, like in the future, I won't take like four hours to build the house, but you know. Um, it takes time to make something look so like amazingly and like put it together well um and the bathroom was so big downstairs like the master bedroom like for the bathroom like master bathroom i could not figure out what to put in there i was like it's so big and there's so much space what do i do and this bedroom up here it's supposed to be about a daughter who is very eco-friendly and she's just all about the plants and saving saving the world kind of um now that I got the eco life, eco lifestyle, I'm like super excited to be able to play that and post some eco lifestyle content and nifty knitting. I'm super excited about that. Um, actually having a lot of fun with it. I think by the time you guys see this, I've already posted my eco and my lifestyle videos that I've recorded already. Um, but I might be wrong. But if I haven't, you guys will see those soon. If I have, hopefully you guys have watched them. And now, honestly that I did that, I might do something, I don't know, I, I, I'm starting to come up with more ideas for my channel, and what content I'm going to be posting, so, hope you guys are ready, because I might to expand my channel, and bring you guys a lot more content, um, and I know I did do a lot of the same bathtub and shower, and I probably got kind of repetitive for you guys, but I wanted it to be like, Oh, this family's like super rich so they got like the nicest bathtub and stuff but also it's taking me like forever to figure out what I wanted to do so yeah um I see I, I used a lot of the eco tables and stuff um let's see what else um this video is almost over so I want to make sure that I do end it off so i hope you guys are enjoying make sure to check out my other videos and make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to 
support my channel and just to let me know that you guys are liking the content that I'm doing because I'm here to make you guys happy and that making you happy makes me happy and just being able to post create something that I love and have a really big passion for just makes me happy so yeah thank you all so very much for watching this and expect a lot more speed post in the future and yeah so yeah thank you again for watching and supporting me